that's what it's all about is just high performance big landings i want to be able to stomp and just be ready to initiate the next turn and just get right to it Today we're gonna to talk about the White Walker, which is Sammy Carlson's signature model. He put a lot of time into building out the, the designs and the technical capabilities. And most importantly, he built out a pretty intense, fully loaded feature uh, pack as it relates to the technicalities built into the ski. The characteristics of the ski, it's 139 the tip, 116 in the tail, and 135. As you can see in the, the, the screens behind both Sammy and I, is that the this, this ski shape in itself has a pin tip and tail design, which has some unique attributes and Sammy is going to take us through those. The turn radius on the ski is 18 and it comes in at 1800 grams per single ski. So it is an incredibly light package, but it is a charging ski. Ruba core and the carbon layups and the way they've been strategically placed, the ski really is stout and quiet and not lively like you get with your typical carbon constructions. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Sammy Carlson, who's going to take you through the attributes of how he came up with this design, why he loves it so much, and where historically the ski uh, works best. All right. Thank you, Hans. I'm excited to talk to you guys about the White Walker today. Before I was having problems with the, the tail kind of washing out a bit. So when we started working on this ski, it was, it was all designed around the technical performance and I'm really happy the way it turned out. It really gives a knifey type feel um, on landings. The tip just shoots out and planes differently than previous ski designs. And um, it's all drawn from a surf inspiration. It's kind of the rocker profile of the nose. He's able to perform um, at high speed on bigger waves with more power. And that's exactly what I'm looking for with my skiing is just performance at high speed. You know, have a ski that would be there for me when I need it, but still have the freedom to blow the tails and, uh, you know, break break free into schmears or nose butters, switch to forward and be able to do slashes and all these different things that I really enjoy about skiing. I still, I didn't want to lose that ability, but focus more on doing those moves at high speed. This is basically the same as the ultralights, but maybe just a little bit more ready for charging. I think you can be so powerful with this ski. Since it has that tip, you go down in the snow and it just like cuts through like swords. This is Sammy's brainchild. I think his skiing speaks for itself. He obviously uh, really knows what he likes. Everything he does, which is really inspiring to me, uh, this was super appealing when I saw this was coming out. An astonishingly light ski that's 116 underfoot, which is unheard of until recently. If you're gonna venture out into the backcountry this year, please make sure to take all the proper steps, you know, beacon, shovel, probe, mandatory. Make sure to sign up for avalanche class because it is very dangerous out there and just a little bit of knowledge can, you know, really increase your overall safety and allow you to just have a better time out there. So please take the proper steps.